Anybody else move the strike last word? Dr. Bustani. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, uh, I support this package. It's a really important package. But I want to focus my comments on the repeal of the employer mandate, which we already know from a number of sources is eroding wages, destroying jobs, and it has a, a particularly devastating impact at the bottom of the wage scale for those who, who are really struggling. And like the individual mandate, the employer mandate became necessary in, this, in, this, uh, in Obamacare only because of other mandates and especially price controls that have served to really destabilize the health insurance markets and destabilize uh, the delivery of health care in general because of this mismatch between cost and reimbursement. Even left-leaning analysts have suggested the employer mandate's impact on a labor market is outstripping its effect on coverage. Uh, the off-sided uh, Jonathan Gruber suggested, and I quote, the right way to think about the employer mandate is really as a revenue-raising tool. It does raise a lot of money. Well, it does, but it has a disproportionate impact on small businesses and on those who uh, would like to see higher wages. This burdensome tax has real-world implications on workers, employers, and their families. It's more, it's more of a way to generate income than to meaningfully boost the insured population. We already know the, the cost of insurance is starting to rise precipitously again, despite the promises of Obamacare. The administration itself, and we've heard in testimony over a course of two years in this committee room, the administration understands the problems with the employer mandate, both if it were to be implemented and the complexity, and that's why they've chosen to delay it. Uh, we still don't know what the administration ultimately is going to do. I think this is now the time for this committee to act and to repeal this onerous mandate once and for all, and I yield back.